evening, Theo Trade. This is Corey Rosenblum bringing you the Theo Trade nightly video for June 14th, 2018. And we're sector surfing this evening. We'll take a look at the leading sectors and then do some stock scans, particularly that are from strong sectors. The idea is that which is strong tends to get stronger. We can also do stock scans by identifying strong sectors and then drilling down into them to find leading candidates for swing or intraday trades, or even some option trades based on this concept of strong getting stronger. On our sector scan grid, we take a look at the nine major sectors. The top is gonna to be financials, XLF. K is technology, Y, consumer discretionary, also known maybe as retail. In the middle are industrials, I, materials, B, energy, E, and our defensive or risk off sectors are at the lower part of our nine sector grid with staples, XLP, healthcare V, and finally utilities, XLU. On the hourly chart, we're just looking for where these stocks, where these ETFs are positioned at the top right of their chart, middle or the lower spot. It's a simple way to find relative strength. Again, the concept is Strong stocks get stronger, strong sectors get stronger. Let's identify the four that are the strongest right now. So that's gonna be right here with XLK technology. Otherwise, we're looking at XLP staples and XLY consumer discretionary and XLV healthcare. So when these are in focus, we're gonna take a look inside these strong sectors to strong stocks. From that, I have a list here on the XLK. We'll jump over to our daily chart and take a look at that both on the daily frame all over here and the intraday or the hourly chart on the right. XLK is our technology sector and we can see it at the highs along with the NASDAQ. Our NASDAQ futures and NASDAQ index Similarly, are at new highs, along with the Russell too. But XLK is specifically our technology sector. Lots of ways we can look at this. Netflix, also in a kind of a retail, but also a technological name. This is making higher highs and surging, breaking much stronger from a triangle breakout pattern on higher volume the last couple of sessions. So Netflix is helping push the NASDAQ to new highs but it is a strong stock inside of a strong sector. Intel, not as strong, but still making higher highs and higher lows with rising moving averages. We like to trade the pullbacks on the way up, maybe sell some premium on the way beneath, or do some verticals above, different ways to play this concept of a strong stock getting stronger. Facebook, we talked about it recently on a pullback Right, last Thursday's video I shared with you, this I uh, can I get a pullback? And the pullback took us right where we expected it, the 20 day exponential. And we've had a week of bullish rally straight up from it, showing the strength of a retracement trading style into a strong stock getting stronger. Also Microsoft, we don't hear talk about as much in terms of the titans of tech like Facebook and Google and Apple and Amazon, but Microsoft quietly is pushing up just above $100 per share on similar higher volume, rising moving averages, and higher highs and higher lows. Our next strong sector, look at this. Look at this, Theo Trade. This is XLY. It's consumer discretionary, maybe heard as retail. So it's breaking out from another triangle, but this is insane. This rally is straight up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven 10, 11 sessions on high volume. So let's take more time. And I recommend on your own time, drilling inside of this XLY, consumer discretionary or retail, also entertainment, uh, casinos, travel, transportation, things like that are inside the discretionary sector. Just to name a few, Nike also broke out of a sideways triangle and has been trading higher throughout May and June. So this is a crazy one, right? Ralph Lauren or Ralph Lauren has broken above its 120 per share on very strong volume and continued higher. 
and stopping right here at about 140 per share. Again, look for pullbacks and strong stocks to get stronger. Speaking of transportation, TripAdvisor has also broken higher from a little breakout consolidation and did an initial retracement and went straight up. Remember, the XLY sector, Spider, is up roughly 11 days. TripAdvisor, part of it essentially uh, for the retail name. And then Home Depot, to an extent retail. But anyway, still not quite at all-time highs, but pushing up beyond. Now, those are considered the stocks that are strong with respect to risk on or bullish expectations. XLP is the flip side of the consumer discretionary. It's staples, it's defensive, it's considered risk off. Even in a recession, you still have to brush your teeth, you still have to eat and drink. So stocks that come in here in this sector or companies in the sector might not be as fun and exciting as Netflix or others, but they'll kind of be strong in all environments. That's why they're considered risk off. If you see strength here, it tends to be uh, an interesting sign for the market. And you're seeing it's weak throughout relative, relatively weak in 2018, but still pushing up strongly through the moving averages on a downtrend. And these sectors, just for reference, it's a little hard to distinguish consumer discretionary from consumer staples, but think companies in beverages, tobacco companies, food staples, personal products. Costco sells all those. But it also, maybe not a thrilling and fun stock, but is making highs above 200, pushing beyond 205 per share. Stars or Constellation Brands, also at the highs, eh, not as strong as the others, but rising averages, higher highs, higher lows, and pivoting up off its 200-day moving average. Estee Lauder, a little makeup and cosmetic company. Even in bear markets, uh, people have to look good. And so Estee Lauder, they won't give up their you know, cosmetics necessarily. Uh, and so here is Estee Lauder, retail, consumer staple, however you want to slice it, still strong, getting stronger. Finally, healthcare, XLV, clearly not at the highs, but had a strong rally recently through May into June. Uh, topping the list there would be UNH, United Healthcare, pushing above 250 to new highs here. Uh, Biogen, B-I-I-B, again, not at the highs, but making an impressive rally off the 260 per share spot. It's trading at the 200-day simple moving average. Amgen, um, also not at the highs too, but within this lengthy or wide trading range between 200 per share and about 165. That places it roughly at the midpoint but notice how strong this has been recently. And that's what we're picking up. That's what we're referencing in today's video, which is recent strength. Strong stocks getting stronger, and we'll finish with Merck, MRK. So it's also just like Amgen to an extent, wide trading range, 53 and 66, and it's roughly at the middle and pushing up recently. The concept is that which is strong tends to get stronger that which is weak tends to get weaker. If we get breakouts and additional bullish action, these sectors will be in play still, as will stocks in the sectors. So this is where we wanna concentrate some of our attention if we're bullish. It's not where we wanna be if we're bearish. In fact, that will be a different conversation for weak sectors. But you're still not seeing a whole lot of weakness because even those that are showing uh, performance levels are at the middle of the chart. That's financials, energy, and industrials. There along with utilities, not seeing a lot of weakness. So let this be a springboard for additional ideas, Theotrade. This is Corey Rosenblum with your Theotrade evening video for June 14th, 2018.